Oh man, it's raining again. Right, massive shout out to Carly for sponsoring today's video. It is a sponsored video and I, I mentioned in a recent video that I decline a lot of sponsorships because some of them ain't really good for my audience. But I think this is quite a good one. I actually done a video uh, for Carly probably a year or so, maybe two years ago, quite a while ago, and it was on their, their older dongle. You see this one here? And it was decent. And if you look at this now, I don't know if this is their new one. No, if you look at the old one compared to the new one, there is a massive visual difference yeah they've done a great job of that and they the the old one you can see it says vag plus on there when it the camera decides to wake up that is for obviously vag group only but this universal one apparently is for all makes and models and they've given me a brief i pretty much know the ins and outs of this product anyway but it covers all loads of different brands including b and w vag group uh, obviously vw audi skoda say at uh, toyota mercedes renault porsche and a few other brands as well but obviously today I've got two BMWs here. The majority of this video is gonna be filmed in my M6 because this is like my daily driver. The X6M ain't getting as much use in my life right now because it's up for sale. It's had a lot of interest and I've got a feeling it's gonna be gone quite soon. So uh, M6 is my own car and this is a car that I'm quite, I'm more excited about having a little play around with. So what we'll do is we'll plug the uh, dongle in. I think that's what we do. In fact, what we'll do first is we'll install the app, yeah? Let's put up the app store. That's actually funny, that's been in my glove box and it smells of air freshener. Mmm, nice. Carly. This one here, the versatile OBD2 scanner. Let's download that. Click my fingers and click my fingers and fast forward to when it's actually downloaded. Right, it's downloaded. Open. Du -du 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 -du. Carly would like to use your Bluetooth yet. Log in with Google. There's my password. I'll show the world my password. That's it. You all know my password now. Yeah, send me notifications, Carly. Let's get started. Let's get on it, mate. Right, so I have already like previously downloaded this app and I used this dongle, or the previous dongle, on my Golf R, on my RS6, and I actually did install this prior to this video and uh, it's got my M6 set up. So I would say that this Carly app probably got three main roles. Uh, firstly, obviously the code inside of it, which is wh what most people want to buy it for. Uh, secondly, is like a, a used car check, like you can check the background of your car and stuff on there. And then the third one is like the diagnostic feature, so you can check out uh, if your car's got any negative codes, any problems. Hopefully my car ain't got no problems that I don't know about. And uh, you know, like general diagnostics, all right? So we'll go through all that in this video. Step one, plug it into the car. Okay, plug it into your OBD, which we know we can do because we've already done that. Is that in? Hello. I would say that's in. Yep, yeah, lights are on. Let's turn on your vehicle's engine. Ready for the noise. Uh, yeah, she's on. Right, click connect. This video might seem a little bit choppy in places. Uh, it's purely just to save your time. Uh, connecting to the car. Job done. Right, we're connected. We click the health check button. See what issues I've got. Check for issues. Fast forward, 18 issues found, 37 issues found. Hold on, we're 35% of the way in and it's found 41 issues. Right, this is a little bit worrying. As saying it's got, my car's got a lot of issues. Could, must just be old little faults, surely. Diagnosis completed. So, <laughs> oh, here we go. Airbag, five issues. What is this all about? Um, da -da 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 -da, loads of codes. Error codes cannot be sent to Max. What? Oh, we've got amber codes, then we've got yellow codes. And then, I was, oh, so two two things are okay. The rest of the car is broken by those things. Uh, amber means bad. DSC has four issues. Wheel speed sensor, wheel speed, that's BMW stuff. Let's just clear all them faults and repair my car. <laughs> Obviously, I, like, there is nothing wrong with this car, but it's found little hiccups within the system. But we'll clear all these annoying little faults. Anyway, issues are being cleared. Whew. 
may as well have a meat while I'm waiting. Right, done. Like I said, there is nothing on my car that's really alarming me. Like, I don't feel like there's any issues with it. There must just be old faults that are just stored in the system. So if we move on to, what else did it suggest? So this is all the features, health diagnostics, uh, which we've already done. We know that I've got problems with my car. <laughs> Hopefully they'll just disappear. And live data, that's like for your throttle pedal and stuff like that. You can just see, like if you click in there, we won't go too far into there because I want to get to the coding bit. That's the exciting part. Uh, just oil temperature, RPM, that sort of stuff. Just live data that your car's doing, all right? Use car check, that's really handy. So you can look into your like the background of your car, your average annual mileage, like I've just done a quick one on this, and it tells me my average annual mileage is about 4,800 kilometers per year. So that's quite handy. And within that, that will check if, if there's any issues as well. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's flip past the uh, coding section and go down to maintenance. So down the bottom, we've got service light reset. I've just had my car serviced, so I don't need to do that. Battery reset, DPF. So all these things you can do on the car, it's, it's amazing. So. Um, yeah, loads of different options and bear in mind that I, like I said about the old one, I used to use the old one and this is, they've improved the app, they've improved the dongle and it is a massive improvement all around. So let's click into coding, continue to code in. This is the interesting bit. Checking coding possibilities. Another hard day at work. Just sitting in my M6, just coding my car. Right. This is the coding section of the video, okay? So, um, yeah, so we just checked and there's a lot of things we can code in this car. And let me just quickly explain about coding. So it, it is basically a way of unlocking features that your car already has. So, for example, this car has got electric folding mirrors, yeah? If your car doesn't have electric folding mirrors, it won't give you electric folding mirrors. But if it does have electric folding mirrors, what it will give you the option to do is to when you lock the car, the mirrors are fold. Yeah, just simple little things. It ain't gonna break your car. You can un you can undo everything you've done, so you don't be concerned, because I genuinely was myself. I was a little bit like, what if I break something? Because uh, them headaches, I get them headaches on computers all the time. And yeah, I'm not really that kind of guy. So yeah, this is, even an idiot like me can work this all right. So don't be concerned that you're gonna break your car, all right? So what we do is, I'll be honest, I went on to this, we'll click on this uh, readout combi thing. I did have a little tamp around with this yesterday, right? And I literally plugged it into my car, just made sure it all worked, and I discovered that I can add my indicators to my head-up display. I think this is such a cool feature. Obviously we've got, if I put my indicator on, I've got my indicator there, yeah? But I've now also got that in my head-up display, which, when it focuses, that's it with focus. So you can see that. I know that again, it's just a silly little thing, but these silly little things are important to a lot of us petrol heads. We uh, want everything perfect. And like I said, the more features, you, your more hardware your car's got, the more features this thing will un unlock, okay? So if we go on here now and flip down, digital speedo is on. BMW, logo on dashboard right so we put it on m performance yeah click code now gives me some drama that i just want to tick a box on you can see yeah look, it's all it's resetting everything obviously by doing this you're basically reflashing your car so you will have to reset your date and time and stuff after but don't worry i'm capable of doing that so now if i turn my engine off and then start the engine back up again I don't know if you can see that, but we've got an M logo there. You can see that. How cool is that, man? Right, so now, back to square one. We're on BMW logo, and I want to change that to an M logo. So let's just remind ourselves what BMW logo looks like. There you go, there's the BMW one there, right? I don't like the BMW, I much prefer the M performance one, so we're gonna go back to that and code that back in, all right? That's it, look, got my M badge back. Right, so let's continue. Yeah, uh, sports display performance, unit performance, I changed that to horsepower ESA rather than kilowatts. So if we go into iDrive, I'll get a photo on my phone. For some reason, <laughs> that camera ain't picking it up, but my phone is. Uh, so a little photo there. Job done, that'll do. Yeah, you can see that we've got sports displays in 
showing HP rather than kilowatts now. Oh, this is an interesting one. One touch turn signal function. I actually like it when you touch it once and it flicks three times. Let's just turn that to one and see what it's like. Carly, don't let me down. Do not let me down. So we click uh, it once. Now it sits in orange, yeah? Oh, look. Oh. I, don't, I, might, I might just leave that like that for now and see how I get on with that. See what other magic Carly can do. Angel Eyes EU, Angel Eyes and Rear Lights US. Cruise control and head up display. To be honest, I don't use cruise control. Daytime running lights, the brightness of them. We've got them very high at the minute. I definitely want to keep it very high. So much you can do on it. Welcome lights, high beams, welcome lights, front lights. Maximum speed mirror folds, you can change the speed so you know you can fold your mirrors at a different speed if you like. Front fog lights with high beams, you wouldn't want that on but it's an option if you want it on. Ah, start stop automatically default is off. I want to switch that on because I don't want the start stop to be on, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll do that. I won't code it yet because I'm going to flick through and see if there's anything else I want to do. Yeah, start stop. I find it annoying. I actually, every time I drive my car, I turn it off. Uh, when you put it into M1 mode, it turns it off anyway. But sometimes I just chill and drive it in comfort mode, and yeah, start stop just annoys me. I think the thing is with this this app, yeah, you could sit. I could imagine loads of people buying these, just sitting on their driveway for hours, just tampering around with the car, changing stuff, seeing what they prefer. Like I could sit here. This video could be literally hours long and I could show you so much this app can do, uh, but I'm just kind of personalizing my car to suit me, and I kind of keep forgetting that I've got a camera here, so. Selection of ringtone, I'm going with the Rolls Royce ringtone, definitely, got no idea what it sounds like, but I'm definitely having that one, sounds good to me. Sounds good, don't know what it sounds like, you know what I mean. Oh, that was a, oh, that's a Rolls Royce sound. Sounds like a text message, doesn't it? Right then, X6M and Carly. Right, let's uh, plug this in down here quickly. A lot easier than the M6. Start the engine. Straight away, M logo. You see it there. Do you know what? There is even more options for the X6M. This is like a bit mind-blowing for me <laughs> like as much as it is completely idiot proof you for you to go through all of these options you need time on your side you could sit here and tamp around with so much on your car i'm flicking through these options and i'm thinking god i want to try that i want to try that i want to try that there is so much you can do on here uh and the only way you're ever going to get to grips with all of what's available for the, all of the features that are available even is by getting yourself one and having a tamper around with your own car yourself. But just for a bit of, for a laugh, let's just change the iDrive start logo uh, on the BMW to a Rolls Royce start logo, right? So at the minute when you start it, it's just got the M logo. Let's just click agree. Let's code that in for banter and wrap the video up. Yeah, see what this looks like. It's coding. Carly is hashtag on it. Oh mate, it's worked. Right, it's done, you ready for this? So just for absolute banter, before we end this video, let's turn the engine off. Start the engine, and then. That is absolutely quality in it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it as that because I've filmed so much, I've got a bit of a headache, but I've given you a good idea what features are available to do on this Carly app. So yeah, massive shout out to Carly for sponsoring this video. If you wanna get yourself one of these dongles, head over to their website. I'll put a link in the description below. They've off they're offering you guys a transfer to get one with 15% discount uh, using my code. I'm not, I'm not too sure what it is yet, but I'll put all the details in the description below. Get 15% off. But I want to show you both cars to give you an idea that you can literally unplug it from one car and plug it into another car and do the same same sort of stuff on other cars as well so um, that doesn't just apply to bmw only i could go and plug it into a vw golf now and have a bit of a, a play around with that so uh yeah we're gonna leave it as that 
Thank you very much for watching. Oh, I forgot to say to you as well, Carly are also giving you the chance to win one of their dongles on my website, planetofdreams.co.uk. So if you want to get me in for a chance of winning one uh, for nothing, for a little freebie, head over to Planet of Dreams, enter yourself into a competition, and you'll be in for a chance of winning one of these dongles for yourself for nothing. And the winner for that will be announced next Friday, hashtag free Friday. Um, so not this coming Friday, but next Friday, all right? So yeah, look out for that. Uh, all links will be in the description below. I think I'm done. I've got a bit of a headache, but you know what? I've got a Rolls Royce display image on my BMW X6M now, so what more could I want, eh? Thanks for watching. Hit like if you like the video, hit subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. In the next episode of Diary of Car Trader, basically, I've bought a car that a lot of you lot are going to be very familiar with. <laughs>